Hi, this is Chris Lavin from Extreme Polishing Systems and Polished Concrete University, and we are here today with a very special guest all the way from England, is Mr. John. It's nice and to be here. Mr. John, thank you for being here. Okay, so uh, John, actually you came and you discovered us. Maybe tell everybody how you discovered us and how you ended up here today. Yeah, it was on uh, YouTube. I basically asked for 3D floors, and then um, I saw this video, because all the proxies were 3D when they were advertising at first. Yep. And then uh, I discovered polished concrete, and then I saw a metallic silver floor with Robert was doing, where he introduced his epoxy training center. So I um, phoned up, got myself here two years ago. Two years? Two years, yeah. It went by two fast. years and one month. Okay, yeah. so 25 months ago, John came into our university and you learned how to do yeah. epoxy floors. Five days polished concrete. Well, polished concrete first and yeah, then yeah. epoxy. You need to know the prep. Yes. And then three days in the epoxy training. Yeah, so he was here for two weeks. Two weeks. Obviously, you had a pretty good time during those two weeks. Amazing. Amazing, yes. Yep. Missouri guys ruined us, but... Uh, the, the Missouri guys were saying hi to the Missouri guys out there. Hi, Tim and Travis. <laughs> Thanks for ruining me. <laughs> Anyways, you're back here again. Yep. Um, tell, tell me about your experience so far. What kind of uh, feedback you're getting you know, over in England from, from polishing concrete and everything that you learned? Yeah, it's starting to pick up. It's, it's, very, it's hardly anybody knows about it in the UK, so it's, it's trying to spread the word, really, let people know the knowledge. Because unless you show them the product, you just, it doesn't make sense when you just say it's these colors that you mix. So you actually walk on it, it's like walking into art, isn't it? It's just, yeah, yeah you know, for it's, sure. It's really cool. So everybody, everybody's, the, the, the trend right now and trending is, is, is metallic epoxy floors. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a boom over here in the US. It's a boom, it's going to be even a it's bigger boom. It's going to be, in, yeah. in Europe, yeah. Yeah, over in Europe. The, the, the Europeans are a little bit behind, but it's because it's such a long plane right here. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, so it's just the glitter floors, that's the thing, isn't it? The glitter. You see glitter? You gotta have it, haven't you? Yes. Yeah. So, anyways, so you started to play with these materials, correct? Yeah, yeah. And you noticed a young pair of eyes that were fixated on the on the yeah. the, the liquid colors, uh, right? A, a little helper, yeah. So the little helper, right? Yeah, so, yeah. so talk to me about how that all came about. Well, it's just I have a workshop. My daughter, who was eleven at the time, decided to come and help me. She liked playing with the colors. Said, can I have a go? So yeah, of course you can. So she just had a natural skill and she mixed the colors made better boards than I could make, which is a bit upsetting, but she's got a natural skill for it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So, so this young lady. Erin, yeah. Erin, she actually asked you if she could fly over to the United States? She did, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And obviously it's an expensive ticket for you to bring your daughter all the way it over is, here, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So. She's got the skills, so she had to come. She has, yeah, she has the skills. So with no further ado, we would like to welcome your daughter, Erin, yeah. as the epoxy girl, okay? An epoxy girl? Here she is. Welcome, Erin, how are you? Are you good? Are your arms tired? Yeah. <laughs> I, my, my arms would be tired if I had to walk on my arms like you just did, that was fascinating. But also, if you had to fly all the way over from England, I would think that your arms would be tired too, yeah. right? So welcome, so how old are you now, Erin? I'm 13. You're 13, and where, what, what part of England are you from? Uh, Windermere. From Windermere, nice. So Windermere, is that like considered the city or is it considered like the country? Uh, country, yeah. It's the country? So are there lots of like cows and animals in the country? Mm, yeah. Some, yes. Somewhat? Nice, okay. Well, I would have to say that you are very fortunate because I'm sure there's not a lot of young girls over in Europe that get to work with, with epoxy colors. Yeah. So tell me about what kind of made you so fascinated with the epoxy. Well, when my dad um, discovered it and he brought it into the garage, well, I just thought it was pretty cool and wanted to try it. Okay, so you, he brought it into the garage? Yeah. And that was like your workshop, right? Yeah. And so what did you do when you, when you saw these colors? I just started like pouring them and mixing them together. So, so. You, were, so you were mixing them? Yeah. And was your father telling you a specific amount of time that you had to mix them for? Yeah. What was that amount of time? Uh, two minutes. Two minutes, okay, so we did the two minute yeah. rule. That's very yeah. good. Okay, so after you mix it for two minutes, then you, what'd you do? You, you made some type of sample boards? Yeah, we'd pour it on the small boards, um, whichever type of like, pour you wanted to do, and then start to create a sign. Awesome, awesome. So you came here, 
I said, you know what? I said, we are going to expose Epoxy Girl and we're gonna make you famous. Are you ready to be famous? Yeah. You're ready for it, right? So Epoxy Girl is going to be with her father and with myself also helping a little bit. We're just gonna be guiding her and she's going to make a sample board over here. So if you can come over here, we're gonna get this rolling and we're going to, uh, we have the colors that we've already laid out that, that you chose yesterday, right? Yeah. What colors were, are these? Maybe you want to talk to the people and you want to show them the colors? Well, the first one's like a really nice metallic purple. And then with the second one is another metallic pink. Metallic pink? Yeah. That's very pretty. And then what do we have in here? This is, this is, this is, the, this is the hardeners, right? Yes. Yeah. So what, what do we do with these? Um, we pour these into the metallic? Yeah. Okay, all right. And then what else do we have here? What is that? Um, that's a load of purple glitter. It's purple glitter. I love the accent, right? <laughs> so it's something that we don't hear much over here in the United States, but I love the English accent. It's awesome. So these are our hardeners, right? So we're going to mix these, and I think your dad's going to help us out, right? So we're going to mix this up first. So this is the part B that we put into the part A. And the part A, we mix the pigment color into the resin. So you can just leave it like that. Now you can just leave it like that. If you never stirred it, you could leave it like this all day. Yeah. Okay, which a lot of people aren't aware of. A lot of people are fe feel that once they've poured the hardener into the A, that you have to stir it right away. And that's not the case, okay? So we're just gonna pour it here. If you never stir it, it's not gonna mix. And so you should always wear gloves. Always wear <laughs> gloves. Don't be like the rock star over here, okay? <laughs> And always make sure that you're drinking cold pressed juice. Now you, 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 you're, she's, she's representing juice to you here today, which is the cold pressed juicery that we have in Pompano Beach, and we have a restaurant in Boca Raton. And uh, what did you think of the restaurant? It's great. It was great. Yeah. Okay, that's better than good. Yeah. And what was Chili, what chili was, soup? Chili soup was that amazing. Was nice, yeah. You had the, what, was, what was your favorite thing so far uh, at, the, at the restaurant? The juice. Definitely. The juice. Yeah. And what's your favorite? Uh, flavor. Uh, sweet sunrise. Sweet sunrise. Perfect. Okay, so you guys are going to mix these up for two minutes. I'll be the timer. And go. So we've got to scrape the sides, remember? Yeah. Scrape the sides. And, the and what else do you do? The bottom? The bottom. And the stick. So what grade are you in epoxy, girl? Well, I'm in year eight. Oh, eighth year. Okay, yeah. eighth grade. So is that is that like a junior high, or or you go into high school next year? Uh, well, we don't really have that in the UK. It's um, two schools: primary school and um, secondary school. Okay, so secondary school is the is the later school. Yeah. Is that started grade nine or ten? Um, year seven. Oh, year seven. Okay, all right. Mm. So John happened to uh, like the way my, uh, my shirts were the last time, and he sent me this wonderful shirt, which I didn't wear today, which I should have. You should have. I know, so I'm very sorry for that. <laughs> but it's uh, the same type, the, the guy that makes this shirt that he has on, it's called uh, Elvis Jesus. And it was this shirt that he sent to me, and it was made out of all these safety pins, and it's really cool. It's got the cross on there. That's right, yeah. And, um, and he had this little note in there because when John was here, I told him that money wasn't real. And he started to laugh very loudly about that. He says, well, you have to tell my wife that money isn't real. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of like, he sent me that letter back and saying that money wasn't real. And what I meant by that was really, you never really exchange bars of gold for services or that's goods. Right, yeah. So a lot of people can barter, they will maybe give you a credit card, but it's really not anything substantial. They're all digits that are in a bank account, so. We're, we're probably got another 45 seconds to go here. Good job. I'm tired. It's good. You can do it. So what, what she decided to do is we're going to use purple as our main spread coat, and then we're going to highlight with the pink, and then you're going to put some, some pizzazz into it, huh? Yeah. Awesome. And I'm going to get the hair dryer, because we're going to use a little hair dryer technique here. You're good, you're good on two minutes, guys. We're good to go. Yeah. This one down. We have instructor Robert that popped his head out of here to help us out. Robert's the instructor at PCU, and he's the one that originally uh, taught 
John everything that he knows. And then John has passed it down to Epoxy Girl. And they're ready to pass it on to you over in Europe. They're going to be starting training classes over there. So you're going to be able to learn how to train and do these epoxy beautiful metallic floors. Right. But flake floors, quartz floors. Yeah, polished concrete a lot. And polished concrete. Yeah. That's awesome. So stay tuned for that. Contact the number down below if you are interested. Okay, we're gonna have John's number on the bottom of this video. You have Epoxy Girls number and you also have email addresses in case you want to correspond to them, okay? So let's go ahead and let's do our thing here, okay? Epoxy Girls, show us how to do it, okay? We're just gonna watch. So just all over. Yeah, yes, you do it the way you do it, okay? Look at how beautiful that is. So these are the new powder pigments on the Chris? Yeah, these are the powder pigments that are available. One um, powder pigment pod will color three gallons of material. Okay. All right, so we're gonna grab the uh, this is the magic trowel right here. This is a, I think this is a uh, 18 inch, right? Looks about right, yeah. It's about 18 inches, okay? So she's gonna spread the material now nice and evenly by putting light pressure and she's gonna cover the whole piece of tile. You've done this before, I can tell. She usually uses a roller, so it's, it's a new one. She's never, she's never done the magic trowel, no. right? That's okay. Great work. Do you want to try the roller? Yeah. Now the nice part about when you're working with these materials is they're self-leveling and we've done an application here based off of 45 square feet per gallon. And you notice that we still have the pink over here which is fine because it takes a while for it to uh, set up in the container that it's in. The trick with the roller is that you're spreading the, the epoxy around, aren't you? You're not, you're not using like paint, you're not painting it. Yeah. You're just pushing it so it self levels. So you're, you're, you had a painting company back at home? Plaster and tiling. Oh, plaster and tile. Okay. Which is, which is still big, but this is the future. This is the future, right? This is, this is what's going yeah. so to put her through the further education, there's, right? There's no bright lines in epoxy. So are you satisfied with what you have there? Yeah. All right, I'll take this from you then. Okay. And we will give you the pink here for your highlights. There you go. I'm gonna stir that a little bit. This is Epoxy Girl. So do you want a magic trailer or roll it? Or you can use, or you can use the little foam yeah, thing. Okay. Let's give that a go. Because you like to do, do you, you do art yeah. back at home, right? Yeah. What do you like to draw? Well, at the minute, I'm mainly like drawing like um, people and faces. Okay. So it's a bit.
get it all mixed. Yeah. You have an Instagram epoxy girl? Um, yeah. You do? Yeah. Nice. I've just started the epoxy one. What, what's it, what, what would people have to go to to find you on Instagram? Well, my personal one would be different, obviously, but then Epoxy Girl would just be there. So um, they, can, they can look up Epoxy Girl on Instagram and you'll yeah. be there, right? Yeah. That's what I like to hear. So you're a big social media guru, huh? Yeah. So will, will this change, Erin, or is it going to just stay like the way you've done it? It's going to change. It's going to change, okay. All the time, yeah. Nice, that looks nice. I like the purple and the pink together. They're nice clothes. Wait. You're done with this? So which room would you put these colors in? Well, it'll be pretty bright soon. What, a bar, a club, a restaurant, at home? Maybe a club, a club on the cool, bar table. Yeah. A club? A, yeah. I, think a, I think a bedroom, a girl's bedroom would be yeah. very nice, yeah. in, right? So you wanted glitter, right? You, you said you love to work with glitter, right? So here's the glitter, and we'll let you, we'll let you do whatever you need to do with the glitter. Spread your magic. So a lot of times people will use glitter on the t on the top part of when they when they do floors like this, or they can put the glitter into a clear coat, and you can do a clear coat on top. So you can do furniture with this, right? Uh, yeah. Do a nice table. Couldn't you? Countertops. Yeah. You know, they call me the Glitter King here in the United States. <laughs> do you know that? Well, now I do. Okay, yeah, here, let, 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 me, let me show you how we do it. The Glitter King does it. You gotta create that, that glitter dust. Get a little bit of excess over there, right? A little bit of excess over there. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do with that is what? See it's settling in? Yeah. So I think we should maybe do a third, right? Because the glitter always sinks in the epoxy, doesn't it? A little yeah, bit. Yeah, it goes into the clay. Yeah. But when we need to play with the hair dryer. Wow, there you go. That's There's a, a, there's a pow. That's a pow. And another pow. Okay. All right. You're all plugged in there. Turn on like this. I thought it was epoxy <laughs> shut, okay? There you go. Epoxy girl. So Aaron, would you like to would you like some alcohol? Yeah. Oh you do they do they drink at this young <laughs> age like in this. England? After twelve, yeah. yeah. Oh after twelve, huh? <laughs> I know your daddy when he came here for the couple weeks, he had some drinks. <laughs> he had to come and detoxify when he came back to England, I'm sure, I, right? I, I juiced for a month after the United <laughs> States. Yeah. Anyway, so what, what the alcohol I'm referring to is isopropyl alcohol, okay? Or you can use uh xylene. But, uh, and we have denatured alcohol, so let's try some denatured alcohol. Actually, you know what? We're using a slightly. So, we're gonna make sure you put your glove on for this one, okay? If you're gonna work with that at all, okay? Just put that. Because what we like to do is, we, in here is I like to spray it at my hand and kind of like manipulate it like yeah. that. Oh, spray it. I'm gonna spray. Yeah, you're gonna spray it on the glove, okay? And then you, you just kind of like use your glove okay. to yes, drip it on, okay? 
Here, you can spray it at your hand. Okay. I'm going to spray a little bit more. There you go. A little bit. You keep spraying it. You're getting there. See, it's going to give you bigger. It's going to give you a bigger effect. Awesome, awesome. That looks so good. It kind of looks like you're over like a purple pond. Like I'm waiting to see some, some fish <laughs> jump out of it, huh? Very nice. So here, let me take the, the glove off of you. Huh? Okay. So you happy with that? Yeah. Yeah? 100% happy? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're gonna let it do its thing now, right? So normally on this type of material, you're gonna wait anywhere from eight to 12 hours before it fully cures. Um, it's gonna start to tack up in about two hours. So if you're using tape, in any doorways or anything, you, that, that's when you start to peel your tape up because it's going to stop flowing. But I want to say thank you very much to John, the, the father, and thank you for an amazing time meeting you. It's a pleasure, Aaron. Okay, and uh, I can't wait to see how this finalizes. So we're going to show that to everybody probably at the beginning of this video, and then we're going to show them how to create something like this. Yeah. And we would not have been able to do this today without your help. <laughs> so make sure that you go to Epoxy Girl on Instagram, correct? Yep. And we can go and visit Extreme Polishing Systems website for their contact information. It will post up on the website. And if you guys want to buy any of this material over in Europe, anywhere, correct? Yeah. Contact them. They'll be more than happy to help you out. That's right. And guide you in the right direction. And they're going to be starting classes over there in the very near future. Coming soon. Coming soon. All the best to everybody out there. Thanks again for Thank tuning you. in and being a subscriber. So subscribe the link below, like us on Facebook, and the other thing is something to do on Instagram, but follow us on Instagram. <laughs> Have a great day. Thank you.